falling down. down. It's the Jody O. Johnson Show. With everybody screaming Jesus. Holy Jody O. Johnson Show in the studio with us is Governor Reese. The name of that song is Freedom. And he just told us that he wrote that one while he was locked up. You yes, know sir. what I'm saying? And, man, you got a, you got a serious testimony, man. Praise the Lord. Man, you, you know, we got to have you back, man. I would love to You got back. us in here crying and stuff. I've <laughs> been in rubbing our eyes and getting all the tears out. Man, listen, you said something so awesome, man. We did that we had to get your wife on the phone because we want to hear it from her. But before we go, we're going to include her in this, what we call the five-minute discussion. And five-minute discussion is brought to you by Anthony King of Cars Stewart. And if you'd like to get yourself into a brand new car, call 214-356-8706. That's 214-356-8706. This is what we're going to talk about, man. Okay. Let's just go back a little bit. In case somebody just turned the radio on, just, right. just tuned in to us because they need to hear this. Mm -hmm. You've been through a lot, man. Mm -hmm. You've been through a lot. You've, you've been, you know, gone on drugs, overdosed the whole nine. Mm -hmm. you, that's your testimony. But during the time of your life, you know, you you say you married, you, you know, you, 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 you uh, lost your wife through separation mm -hmm. and y'all end up, you know, back together. But there was a time when she came in there mm -hmm. while you was going through mm -hmm. and she, and she spoke some words, spoke some words into your spirit. Mm -hmm. And she basically told you, I'm a, you tell me what she told you. You know, she told me that if I didn't have, you know, limbs, my legs would walk. You know, she would, she would, she would help me. You know, get around. If I did, if I couldn't feed myself, she would feed me. If, if I was unable to, uh, um, 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 if I, if I couldn't use the restroom on my own, she would change my diapers for me. You know. Wow, man, you, 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 man, that just, man, you just don't know. I, I can't Sorry, even speak. I'm, try, I'm trying Dude, to hold you back gotta, the tears, man. Listen, I see yeah. every man in America mm. when you, when you think about getting married. Mm -hmm. When you when you want to ask a woman, will you marry me? Mm -hmm. Most men are thinking about that right there. Mm -hmm. What would she do if I didn't have a dime in my pocket? Right. Right. If I couldn't walk, if I couldn't do anything, right. would she really be there for me? And most of us feel that way. For, so you've had the experience of having your woman say this to you. Yeah. yeah. And say it and, 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 and do it. Hold it down. While right. I was at, a, at a time when you was, you was messed up. Yeah, I was really messed up. Yeah, I was gone. You know, that's that part, you know, when you say for better or for worse. Yes. That, that, she that's meant that it. part right there. Well, well, speaking to your wife is on this phone right now, man. Yeah. You do, and when she come on this, we got to give her a big, big old round of applause, y'all. <laughs> Ladies Absolutely. and gentlemen, this is the lady, Governor Reese. Sister Reese, give it up! Yay. Yeah! My beautiful lady. <laughs> you know what? You got us up in here crying. <laughs> Let me ask you something. When you going? When you going? When, when are you going to be teaching a class to to people that, that on this kind of situation? Because you know I don't knock women. Mother's Day is tomorrow. Happy Mother's Day to you, by the way. But Mother's Day is tomorrow, and you know I love when women, women are. We love women. Women are beautiful people. You know we we know that. But there, you know every man at some point wonders about that one issue. Like when I'm on my lowest low, of lowest yeah, low. Yeah, sometimes what you like, gonna do for me? You are you gonna stand by my side? Or you gonna leave me? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you you didn't do it. You you stuck with him, and 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 I mean, just the words you said. How, I mean, where did you find the strength to say that? Um, honestly, um, I would have to say the words probably didn't even come from me. They were unconsciously just wow. spoken, you know, from my heart and strictly from God. I would say because I have a love for my husband, like. You know, that's, uh, it's just phenomenal. And he has a love for me that's unmatched. And, you know, out of that love, um, you know, sometimes you say things that you're not even aware of. And although, you know, I meant, and I still to this day <laughs> mean what I say, you know, I know that was just my heart speaking. And, um, you know, I really believe that, you know, when a man finds a wife, he finds a good thing. And I'll when a man... Finds a wife. I mean, even the word says that a virtuous woman is a crown for her husband, and you know, being the crown for her to her husband, um, that means he's king, wow. and that would mean that I would be queen. And with him being my king, I'm going to treat him as such. And whatever it is that God has for me to do in His life, mm -hmm. that's what I'm here to do. And I and, and I will never forget. It was prophesied to me a while ago that you know my marriage is my biggest ministry. 
Wow. Wow. Miss Reese, this, this DJ weird. I just want to know when the book coming out. That's I'm all trying, I want. I'm to know. trying to tell you. You got a book <laughs> in you. I've been talking stuff about that book. So when when is the long. book coming out? Let, let me let me let me ask you this though. Really, like if if you were talking to a woman right now, and because I'm sure there's some women that need to hear this. I love my husband. He's messing up. I've been trying to hang on. I mean, this thing got bad to the point where, <laughs> what else can I do? I won't leave him. I'm tired. What would you say to that woman? I think we just lost her. She Did we lose her? Yeah, we might need oh, to get her call. Oh, that devil be done. Oh, he don't want, okay, no, he don't want nobody. He don't want nobody to hear that. Okay. He don't want nobody to hear that. Go, go ahead. Okay. Okay. okay let me repeat this question to you. Okay. Yes. I was asking you. If there's a woman listening right now, her husband, I'm telling you, he's gone. He ain't doing nothing right. He don't even look like the man he met that she met. He messing up. He's losing his way. He seems lost. He seems out of control at this point. And she is at a point where she is just sick and tired of being sick and tired. What would you say to that woman? Honestly, you know, what I would say is, you know, I've, I've been there. I've done that, and um, it's not an easy place to be, but to stand firm and stand firm in who you are and stand firm and, and be that virtuous woman that God, God has called you to be and back up your husband no matter what. Back him up. And, you know, and ask, pray for God to have his way. And I can just remember that, you know, I had to get to the point where I stopped praying for my marriage, and I know it may sound kind of, um, I guess, crazy, but I got to the point to where I stopped praying for my marriage um, especially during the time of separation because it was just very difficult. Um, and I got to the point where I said, God, just have your way. And once I surrendered myself and I said, God, have your way, everything from that moment began to fall into place. Wow. And if I didn't have the words to pray, and I didn't, I didn't have the words to pray because I was all prayed out. I was all cried out. I had given my all, and I got to the point my only prayer was a three-word prayer that I would always pray, and it's something that God gave me. And, um, I mean, I hope it bless someone else, but my only prayer was cover my covering. That was wow. my prayer, cover my covering. And that you going to make me cry. And it self um, was what kept me and what kept my husband. It was cover my covering and God have your way. And that was it. Cover my covering. I ain't never heard that before. Mm. That was your prayer. Cover my covering. Wow. Wow. You know what? I just I just want to tell you thank you. Thank you for spending this time with us and sharing your testimony. Everybody is not as open about sharing stuff like that. And I, you know, when we do this radio show, we really do do it for ministry to connect with people, to be a blessing to people's lives. And both of you, you and your husband, opening up with this serious, you know, situation here and sharing this because there's so many people, you know, marriage is under attack and, you know, the devil wants you to just, you know, give up on your marriage and he just wants you to throw it away. And, you know, something can happen to you so bad, make you be finished with it. But you, you just talk to us about, you know, sticking this thing out and believing in what you believe in. And, and that's a humble thing for you to do. You yeah. know what I mean? And uh, you, you got your husband in here. I mean, you, you reliving this. Yeah, yeah, yep. Just uh, to know the pain and the hurt that I've caused her, and the fact that she's still able to love me through it all, you know, it was just I saw God in her, you know. Man. That's, I, 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 you know, that was the closest thing to God I had, and that unconditional love that she's shown and 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 displayed to, to me throughout all that, you know. I just, and I know it's not, you know, for lack of a better term, I, I just feel in forever. Grateful, grateful, and and uh, you know, I'm gonna man, use I'm gonna man. use a term my brother used. Uh, what y'all experienced was a twofold process because there was something going on for both of you guys. You know, you experienced, like you said, that unconditional love because of some things that you had, you know, took her through. But at the same time, she found strength in the Lord. You mm. know, what I'm saying to be able to love you beyond what you were. Doc, it yeah. don't get no better than that. It don't, man. You know, it, it, what's interesting about this, man, and I, I know we're here to talk about your record and it's your CD good. being released tomorrow, man, good. but this, this is, I don't know, I'm just feeling like the Lord wants us to go into this direction right now for a minute. But when we meet people and we fall in love with them, we fall in love with our imagination of what we believe it will be. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah. 
And it's easy to love somebody during those times. Right. When they're doing all the right things and they're saying what you want to hear and, you know, they get your thoughts right. You know what I'm saying? But mm -hmm. we all human. Yeah. And I, I ain't going to be perfect every day. Right. There are going to be some days you're going to be sick of me. But, you know, but when you get, when, when the rubber meets the road and those challenges come for somebody to, I mean, really, because I think God looking for people like that. People like your wife, you know, that when that when that moment happens, what man. you gonna do what you gonna do for me? Proverbs thirty one, man. Yeah, yeah what uh, you gonna do? Yeah, my wife is definitely a definition a definition and a great example of the Proverbs thirty one woman. Yeah. I never understood what that looked like until I met her. Wow. Yeah. Wow. wow. I That's never awesome. saw what that looked like until That's I awesome. met her. Yeah, that is, man. God you know, God gave me a word, man, and and the word he gave me, you know, and I'm telling you, man, this this really blessed me, you know. We will have victory. We do have victory. Amen. But what God didn't promise about victory, sometimes victory doesn't feel good. Yeah. And that's the thing people get shocked about. Right. They think victory is supposed to feel good, but victory don't always feel good. Sometimes you're going to lose a limb in it, mm -hmm. but you were victorious. Yeah. Sometimes victory is painful. That's the part that's hard for us to accept. Mm -hmm. We like the victory that's a wonderful victory, but mm -hmm. there are some painful victories. Yeah, yes it is. And when we understand that, you know what I'm saying? And for her, that that was one of them. That was a right. victory. It was a painful victory, but it was a victory. Right. You know what I'm saying? Y'all are testifying. Y'all y'all are actually here for doing this. Yes, sir. See what I'm saying? You know, the beauty of it is that you didn't go through it just for you, and she didn't go through it just for her. You went through it to be an example to somebody else. Mm -hmm. That's ministry, man. Yeah. Man, I, I'm glad we stopped to talk about this. Uh, uh, I am too. Sister Ruiz, we, we just, we appreciate you. Thank you for blessing us. Anything you want to say in closing out? Because I'm telling you, you blessed us today. Glory to God. Um, there's not really too much I want to say. I just hope people be blessed. And um, just, you know, just stay encouraged. And it's not easy, especially when you, you know, you're married to someone who is in a backfoot and state. But if you, you know, stay focused on your path, stay, stay focused on what God it's called you to do and stand firm, then, I mean, it's all going to pay off. It's all going to pay off because those were some dark moments in our lives. But, you know, we can stand firm today and say, you know, if it hadn't been for God, if it hadn't been for God. Give so. him all the glory. Yeah. He gets the glory. Thank you so much. God bless you, okay? I love you, B. I love you too, baby. All right. <laughs> All right. Well, that's what I'm talking about. Give y'all, we got to give a hand. Y'all, y'all, we can't play with that. Yeah, we can't yeah, play yeah. with that. I'm glad we did it because, you know, yeah. not, too, not, not enough times, she, you know, she gets the credit for all that she does. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. People always see me on the forefront, uh, you know, in, in the front and the radios and the pictures and the videos mm -hmm. and stuff like that. And, you know, I wouldn't even be here still if it wasn't for the love that she showed. She was the reason that made me you know, just continue to fight. Yeah. You know, that was the one good and last good thing I had. <laughs> yeah. Hey, baby boy, say that's your rib, man. Yeah. <laughs> wow, man. So hey. I, I'm glad we got a chance to give her her praise. Hey, man. Amen. I tell you, now your you CD, you dropped the CD. Of that. People ought to just buy your CD off their testimony right there. Right there. <laughs> that, that, that ought to bless them enough to go purchase this project. Yeah, you're right. Governor Reese, go purchase. Well, this is free tomorrow. You downloading the free project? Yeah, it's a free download. The okay. Mercy, Grace, Favor uh, playlist is what, what it is. That's okay. the actual title of it. And, um, yeah, we're releasing it tomorrow. DJ Wado is going to do uh, at Wado Radio okay. is going to do an exclusive uh, launch for the uh, project. It's also going to be available on my website, governormusic.com. That's G-O-V-E-N-O-R, music.com. And, uh, yeah, I'm excited about it. I'm yeah. excited about it. Yeah, man. You, yeah. you you blessed me today, man. I'm glad you came. Thank All you. Thank right. you for, for having me. You for blessed real, me man. as well. You know, um, I'm, I'm happy to be here. And it's an honor. And it's a blessing. And, and I'm grateful. Yeah, man. Thank you. Yeah, man, I'm looking. I'm, I'm looking forward to what God gonna do with you, man. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, man, that's why He didn't let you overdose. Woo. He didn't let you overdose because you had you had some stuff there, man. You had to bless us, man. Yeah, I received that. That's why I, I I don't take anything for granted these days, and I push hard because I know He He I, I know in my heart that He He saved me for a reason. Yeah. He, he delivered yeah. me for a reason. DJ yeah. Wiz, give it to us, man, on the ones and twos. The Antonio Johnson, Joan DFWI Radio. <laughs>